That's a really great question. I would say that, um, how do we know that we were onto something? Well, I mean, I think to your earlier point, like if you can identify with something, uh, then it's going to be like an issue, right? And, and if you can kind of see it from other people's point of view, then, then it's going to be some uh, an issue that needs to be addressed. Um, and so really, it just comes down to effectively doing like market research, you know, asking around, getting the, you know, getting your, getting your feet wet, you know, really being in the community, really being in your own community, really being in your own head to understand like, is this a real problem? Um, and I think, you know, over the past 10 years, past 20 years, really, if you think about the, the level of, um, or the number of issues that we've had in this country and around the world, where you're talking about, you know, school shootings and violence and, you know, and, and people not having access to healthcare, one of the things that it always really touches on, even if tangentially, is going to be that of mental health. And that's kind of where I come from in terms of what makes, you know, what, what why we believe that cerebral um, and mental health in general is going to be, you know, one of the next, you know, big things basically in, in medicine and particularly telemedicine. I mean, particularly even more so in, in this world where private offices have shut down. Helping to address, I guess, to, to help guide other people, um, it really comes down to um, it really comes down to just asking, not even asking the right questions, but asking any question, right? And a lot of it comes, and some of it actually comes down to feel. One of the things that people, at, one of the things that I've told a lot of people, you know, when they ask me like, why did you leave this company? And why did you leave that company? And why did you do this? And why did you do that? A lot of these things for me are, the moment you start thinking, for example, like leaving your job, like it took, people thought I was absolutely nuts to leave my position, you know, to where I was. I mean, HIMS, right when I left, it had hit $1 billion in valuation, like easily, like inside of like a year and a half, it was one worth, worth $1 billion. And they said, why did you leave? And I said, well, because I thought about it for you know, obviously it was, it was a decision that took a few months to mature, but the moment you start thinking about doing anything, particularly in this case, like leaving your own job, is a moment you've already quit. You know, the moment you're just like, man, this like, this really stinks. You've already quit. You just have to find the courage or even just the evidence to, or even the, the landing pad so that you can leave um, these things. And so, you know, it, it really comes down to like the thoughts that you have in your head. And then, you know, the rest of the world, the rest of your body will follow after that. Um, and so when you talk about like good ideas, you know, the idea of a, an electric car or a flying car, you know, whatever, every, everyone has that. And just kind of, you kind of have to just wait for it to eventually come to fruition or at least to have enough, uh, enough, what's the word, I guess, evidence to know, like, this is a good idea. And now we have, you know, an entire EV industry, um, you know, built on the heels of what otherwise was a fabled idea.